morning traders just want to follow up on my colleagues uh, European Open couldn't sleep so he got me uh, looking at the cross yen charts we discussed the Asian Open and then uh, again on the European Open let's take a look at this euro yen chart because this is this is extremely interesting to me he highlighted this 131.60 area, which is now you know a couple daily lows. We've had a nice little bounce off that, so we like this even more next time through it. What's even better confluence is are these old lows here. I've had this horizontal line drawn for a long time. It's 131.17, which if you look, the 200-day moving average is right there as well. If we can start closing under here on you know the hourlies intraday i think it's extremely bearish um let's take a look the, the lot here's the daily euro yen chart the last time we were below the 200 day in euro yen was last april and you see here after we we kind of bottomed here on the one around 115 and we, we closed above we never looked back let me close above 100 day never looked back Retested the 100 day a few times, started closing below it. This to me is a huge, huge level. Um, you know, what could be the catalyst, I guess, risk off? Historically, the cross yen does not perform very well, although that correlation has not been great, especially in this latest uh, volatility belt up that we saw in early February. Um, but I, I, I do like it when, it when I get. When I get a, a technical support level that, you know, some old lows that then also match up. And this is this has been a good pivot in this whole little area in here, 131.20 to 131.50, 50-60. Um, and you can see how we've kind of gone sideways to slightly higher now. I've been selling off the past couple couple weeks. But when you, when you have this, what we like calling a match or confluence with the 200-day, I think it's very important, and um, on top of that, <clears throat> remember we had this gravestone doji type forming pattern, you know, which is like a two-day two pattern here, um, where you have the big indecision after a nice up day and then closed, basically unchanged slightly lower, and then the next day goes down. So again, we have had a you know 40-ish point bounce, crossing has been bouncing a little bit here past hour <clears throat> but if we go down the uh, right down the line Aussie yen you know here's this old low 83.30 CAD yen made a new low for this whole move and with dollar CAD getting close to the 200 day moving average which we haven't been above in ages this this chart could get interesting especially after two dojis and then sterling yen <clears throat> we talked about a lot, a lot yesterday again similar to the euro yen we got a couple uh, lows here, this 148.80, and I did tweet this a little while ago on uh, Privateer. Then we have this 148, the figure, which was that spike low, big reversal, doji type bottom. But we, you know, we didn't really get a whole lot going. You could barely get above the, the 100 day on, on an intraday basis. And then here we are back down at that 200 day again. This is one of these crosses that have not been, you know, this goes back to September where we messed around here, acted as some resistance, closed up above the 100, the 200 and the 100 day all in this one day. And we haven't looked back. We've tested the 100 day, closed below it last week. So again, this is a, another area that the market will be paying close attention to. Um, and, and, and this is going to, you know, it could be Brexit related. It could be uh, just more risk off with equities, equities selling off. Um, let's see where the S&Ps are, 2698. So they're, they're on change on the day. You know, they've had about a 20 point bounce, little doji day going here, but you know, we're still four hours before the equity open and a lot could change. So anyhow, just reiterating, reiterating what my colleague was talking about earlier and what we were focused on in Asia it's uh, it's all about the end crosses today, and uh, we got the ECB ECB minutes coming up in a couple hours.
So good luck today, and you'll hear from us again just right before the uh, New York Open. All the best.